Now we will see how to translate a Word file in Studio. This is SDL Trado Studio. You will notice that Workbench is not open up here as it was in our previous example. This is an integrated translation environment and it's all I need to have open. I go to Open Document. This will be a single file workflow and I will open the same file that we were using for the previous example. It's a regular Word file and what Studio does is it extracts the text that I need to translate, shows it to me here on the left, and I will enter my, my translation here on the right. If I want to use the real-time preview, I can click here and Studio will show me a preview of the file that I'm translating. So I go here and start my translation. You will notice that the auto-suggest feature has um, been triggered here. Continue my translation. And notice on the right how the um, preview is being updated in real time. Of course it takes memory and if you want to work a little bit faster it's better not to have this on. But if you like it, you can use it. Go to the next segment. Notice again the auto suggest feature. All of those suggestions that you're seeing there come from auto suggest. Those are um, those were matches from my memory. Now, um, after I have finished my translation, I um, need to produce the target file. This is what my target file will look like. The real-time preview is showing me what it will look like. But the last step that I need to do or to take in Studio is I go to File and then Save Target As. And my file is now going to be entered here. And that's it. When I go to my folder, I will find that file, the file, the target file that I have saved in my target language. That's how I translate a Word file directly in Studio under a single file workflow.